In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about sugar derivatives, the sugar derivatives of the biomedical importance. So first, let's start with the deoxy sugars. Deoxy sugars. So it's as its name suggests that deoxy sugars are the sugars which had removed its oxygen. So for example, if you draw a structure of ribose, this is the structure of ribose. <coughs> this H and OH here on the both second and third carbon, OH is on the lower side. And here this CH2 OH group. Okay. So this is the structure of D ribose. Now if we remove oxygen from here, then it becomes a structure of deoxyribose deoxy ribose so now this is a derived sugar of deoxy sugar type and this deoxy ribose is very important constituents of the dna the second type of important deoxy sugar is the 6 deoxy l galactose l galactose here the 6 number suggests that oxygen is removed from the 6 carbons oh group so this 6 deoxy l galactose is found in the glycoproteins glycoproteins and one very important glycoprotein is the blood group substance blood group substance and this sugar this deoxy sugar is also found in the bacterial polysaccharide bacterial polysaccharide now let's move to the a second type of sugar derivative and that second type of sugar derivative is the amino sugar the amino sugar now again as in the amino sugar the name suggests that here there is a amino group is present that is NH2 group NH2 group is present so actually in amino sugar this NH2 group is inserted in sugar by replacing OH group by replacing one of the OH group now in the sugar there are two types of OH groups are there one is anomeric OH group anomeric OH group which resides on anomeric carbon and the second type of OH group is the alcoholic OH group alcoholic OH group so if this amino group is replacing anomeric OH group then that particular sugar is known as glycosylamine glycosylamine and if this NH2 group is replacing alcoholic OH group of the sugar then that particular sugar is known as glycosamine glycosamine one important example of glycosylamine is ribozylamine ribozylamine this ribozylamine is the example of glycosylamine. This ribozylamine is actually intermediate in synthesis of purine. Intermediate in the synthesis of purines. And about glycosamine, there are two important examples. One is glucosamine, glucosamine, and other one is galactosamine, galactosamine. <clears throat> so, to, to draw a structure, to understand the structure of glucosamine and galactosamine, let's first draw a structure of glucose and galactose. So, now I am drawing a structure of glucose. So, this is the structure of glucose. Now, let's draw a structure of galactose. And as we know that structure of glucose and galactose both are almost the same except for the C4 where the orientation of OH is reverse in each other between glucose and galactose and the rest everything is same. So these are, these are the this is the structure of glucose and this is the structure of galactose. Now we want to replace one of the alcoholic OH group with the NH2 group. So that alcoholic group is this on the second carbon in both the cases so if this group is replaced with the NH2 then this is 
structure of glucosamine and in case of galactosamine if this OH group is replaced with the NH2 the particular structure will become of the galactosamine now in biology now in biology this glucosamine is not occurring as such but this N group this this m uh, this uh, amino group its nitrogen is actually acetylated it is acetylated and so it becomes n acetyl glucosamine n acetyl glucosamine and in this case also if n becomes acetylated acetylated it becomes n acetyl galactosamine <coughs> This N acetyl glucosamine is found in the cell wall of fungi. Cell wall of fungi. It is also found in the chitins. Now, these chitins are the substances which are present in the in the shell of crabs or lobsters. Okay, and because it is found in chitin, the other name of glucosamine not of n acetyl glucosamine but the other name of glucosamine is the cytosamine about n acetyl galactosamine this n acetyl galactosamine is an important constituent of the chondroitin chondroitin sulfate and this chondroitin sulfate is found in cartilage bone tendons and heart valves heart valves and as this n acetyl galactosamine is found richly in the chondroitin sulfate the other name of galactosamine is the chondrosamine chondrosamine so this completes our two of the sugar derivatives one is deoxy sugar and other one is amino sugar in the next video tutorial i will discuss about amino sugar acids and glycosides if you find this video useful please like if you any query or confusion please write it down in the comment section below and i will definitely try to answer it thank you